So why are diodes like one-way streets? Well, it's not a joke. Um, however, they only let current flow in one direction. And that direction you can find out by looking at the arrow direction in the circuit symbol. So current can flow very happily through the diode in this direction. And in a moment we'll see that uh, that's mainly true, but we need to have a little bit of a push, a little bit of a potential difference across this diode in order to open it. You can also think of it as a door that needs a little push before it fully opens, but it won't open in the backwards direction. So in the reverse direction, diodes have a very high resistance. A very high resistance, which will try to stop a current flowing in the backwards direction. Sketch a graph of the current through a diode versus the potential difference applied across it. So if we have a, a diode here, and let's say we can connect this to different voltages, and we may have a battery like so. Uh, now the positive of the battery is there, so current should be able to flow happily this way. And if that's our voltage that we're applying across the diode, and let's say we can alter this voltage, maybe we have a variable power supply. What does the current voltage or current potential difference graph look like? Well, up to a threshold voltage of 0.6 volts, the diode remains closed. It's like we haven't pushed hard enough on the door yet, and so we haven't got the current flowing through yet. But after that 0.6 volts, then the door opens and the diode switches on. Very quickly we get a, a large current flowing. And in reality we often have some other component, whoops, we often have some other component um, in the circuit here, like a bulb or a resistor, like so. So there's a resistor there. If we try and if we reverse the voltage, let's say we turn this battery the other way around, then we're going to try and make current flow backwards, but the resistance of the diode gets very, very large, and so there's hardly any current that flows. It's slight trickle backwards, but hardly any. And we can continue increasing the voltage, and at some later voltage, when it, the voltage is really high, hundreds of volts, we'll find that this diode breaks, and the current will eventually be able to flow. But uh, that's only when it's broken. So that's the current potential difference sketch graph for a diode. And all you need to understand is, is that it's like a door. You need to push on it a little bit to start it to open, and then it's open and it's on very low resistance. It'll let current flow in the forward direction.